Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Iconic Moments unboxings and today I have number 34 Bullet starring Steve McQueen. I've not seen this movie but my dad has seen this movie so I've only seen like briefly clips of it so this will be another movie that I would love to watch down the line so it will be on my bucket list of films to watch and I will get around to doing it but um, it has some special features just to look at this one where it has the featurette Steve McQueen um, committee uh, to reality as production notes and as trailers now the production notes I'm actually looking forward to seeing because if you're ever interested in doing filming or like making your own videos you it's always good to see what other people's notes are so you can get a good idea and inspiration of what went into that movie or just that product or clip alone I've always done like storyboards all the time and every time I do my notes they're all over the place and only like I understand it but other people will look at it they, they get confused so I can't wait to see what production notes they're offering the show and hopefully um, there'll be some good good ones for other people out there to take notice on. The slipcover as well is pretty amazing. It's a nice pale blue blending in, blending in with just like a windscreen uh, mirror. And if you could just pan into it, you could see some car action going on. So they really took some time doing this one because they could have gone with any other image. The fact that they went with a mirror for a car is is astonishing and I give them credit for that one. And then on the back, we basically have basically Warner Bros saying in voice to celebrate the most iconic, iconic moments in film history. And then there's Academy Award winner, best film editing in 1968. Um, there are good cops and there are bad cops. And then there's b b Bullet, which I'm guessing they were going to go for bullshit, but they couldn't. So I'm guessing that's the whole point. The title's meant to say bullshit, but it's missing the S. It's time to take off the slip cover and compare it with the actual DVD. As you can probably tell, what Warner Bros. have just done is they re-released them with the slip cover. They did not re-release them by changing artwork on the DVD case, nor did they do any effort to change the disc inside. So if you have this DVD on your shelf and you want it part of the iconic moments, you're best off just going to the HMV and asking for the slip cover rather than buying the DVD because I've learned from the past that you can just walk into an HMV ask them do they have the slip cover because you already got the DVD and since they would have loads they would say yeah sure you just take one sometimes you get people that would say no but other times you get a decent person who would say yes because it's just a bit of cardboard at the end of the day not very good on what Warner Bros done was just make you pay for the slip cover because that's all I spent the 5 99 on or with H&V they do the 2 for 10 deal or the 5 for 20 then on the back as well we can see that the artwork is not that great they actually show which is really stupid is the main menu screen of the DVD why what's that gonna show I'm sorry but if, if I saw this on a shelf and I had to look at the back and I saw the DVD menu. I wouldn't think, how do I know this film's going to be good? You've got, you've got to keep in mind, back in the day, there wasn't a YouTube, so we can't, I can't go on my computer and type in bullet um, trailer and then watch a trailer of the film. I would either have to see it on TV or I would have to, you know, look on the back like a normal person would. But instead I can't and then therefore I only have this to go on. But with the slip cover, keep in mind, they added some bit more. They added two scenes. Yes, a car explosion scene, a love scene, and then basically just like a poster scene. It, it's not that great, but at least it's something. At least I know it's going to be action. Yes, you can read the bio as well, okay? That's always good, but the bios are just there to, like, draw you in. Nine times out of ten they're not going to be that appealing to look. The film could be great, but it gets ruined by the description of what people read up on it. I'd rather see images and get a feel like, okay, I know I'm going to enjoy this film. I love action films, uh, I love cop, cop films and all that. But what I really hate is when they don't give you enough images to work with. I can't go on and think, okay, I'm going to buy it because of the menu screen. No one's going to do that. That's stupid. All right, anyway, before I lose subscribers, let's get straight into this one. We're just tearing down the middle, ripping it off. There we go. Time, the moment of truth. 
Are you going to have artwork? And no, you are not. You're going to have the mirror effect. That's what I call this now. I call that the mirror effect because literally it just looks like a mirror. You could see me in that. that. That's stupid. Why would I want to see myself when I want to be seeing appealing artwork? And the bit that I hate was when you touch it, you have like fingerprint smudges. At least with artwork on it, you don't see that. But I really hate it when I want to clean this disc. I have to clean both sides. You think I'm joking? I'm not. I will have to clean the back and I will have to clean the front. Pointless and stupid. Because then I've got to go, oh God, I've got to clean the front, I've got to make it look perfect, and then I've got to do, oh, do that time. It's time consuming. I don't want to do that. But yes, that is Bullet. I hope you guys have enjoyed this unboxing video. If you did, please never show your support by liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and if you're new to the channel, when you do subscribe, make sure to turn post notification by ticking that bell to keep updated when I post new and videos each week. And I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.